Hi folks, Jay from All About Photography. Um, today in Lightroom I'm going to talk to you about using the crop tool. The crop tool is a powerful tool for managing the size and the shape of our photograph and we may want to crop a photograph down to use it as an Instagram post which is that square format. Um, also we may want to use it, crop the photo down and use it as our Facebook banner. So I'll just show you a couple of examples of that. There's a couple of ways to open the crop tool palette. One is to click on the crop tool itself, brings up the tools, or if I just turn that off, I can press R. We'll open it up the same way. So sometimes the keyboard shortcut are quicker to use than moving over and clicking the mouse, but either way. Now, the first thing I'll show you on here, I like working on my photographs as large as possible. So if I'm not gonna use this tool bar over here, I'll just click on that to close it and also click on that bottom one to close it. It makes my picture larger on my screen, much easier to do my editing and adjust the colors and things. So it saves a lot of zooming in on your picture and things when you can make the picture as large as possible. Okay, we're in the crop tool menu over here. But you'll see there's a few things on here. Um, one of the most important ones I find is this lock button. If I, I can lock or unlock the aspect ratio, if it's locked, when I say pull down on this top tab, it'll still maintain that same ratio size. Like I think this photo is a 16 by nine. So 16 across the bottom and nine, nine up that way. And when I pull it down there, it'll still maintain that 16 by nine ratio, which is ideal for if I wanted to print this picture, it'll keep it as a standard size that, that fits on print paper, uh, picture frames, computer screens, that sort of thing. Once you unlock this and you start changing that ratio, like for example, that might be 16 by eight, or if I bring this down, 16 by seven. So um, we're changing the, the standard shape of this picture so that now if we wanted to print this and get it framed, we would most likely have to get a custom made frame to fit it, which will cost you more, of course. So, um, and it won't fit properly on a computer screen. You'll have black bands on the top and the bottom you know, or white, depends on what program we're in. Um, it's not that pleasing. So I'd much rather keep that same aspect ratio just by simply locking that button. Now there's a couple of ways to adjust this. If I hold down the Alt button or the Option key on a Mac and just drag this top one down, you'll see that it keeps that same aspect ratio and drags all four sides in. So um, that's just a quick way to choose say you want about that much of your photo then you can grab the photo in the middle and move it around to find you know a pleasing composition which should be something like that say for example not that i would do that so i'll just uh, quickly reset that back to there um now the first thing in here too is that you'll see that there's the guidelines here which is like the rule of thirds guide so each of those center points, crossover points, is where we would keep the things of interest in a photograph. If it was a portrait, I'd probably have one of the people's eyes in this crossover, just to keep the composition nice and pleasing. Um, you can change those overlays just by pressing the O button, so it'll change it. There's different formats of composition guidelines, and we'll keep pressing that. So we have similar diagonal ones, same. These crossover points are one third up and also like one third down. In our picture, they're still maintaining those same points and also like one third across, one third across. So just a diagonal version of the rule of thirds. If I press O again, are similar to the rule of thirds, just with a smaller center portion. Next one here is the Fibonacci curve. Um, that's a pretty popular one for composition and then sizes, crop sizes. So if you want things to be cropped to a specific like picture frame size or um, you know, whatever purpose you want a special size for, you can have the, use those guides or the grid guide, which is handy for like leveling horizons and back to the rule of thirds. So that's just pressing that O button and cycling through those. And you can, I like the rule of third one, so I'll just leave it on that. Now, this picture here, the horizon is a little out of level, so I'll fix that up. There's a few ways to do that. One is this angle slider. So 
uh, if I just click on that and drag, you can see I can pivot left and right, and I can use those grid lines on the horizon just to level it out. So you can see it's not too far out. You can see it's only left a little, a little angle around there just to level it out. Um, I'll just reset that. Another way is to click on this angle tool. You click on that. Now the way you use this is you click on the horizon, you hold down your mouse, so you left click on the horizon, you drag the line across along the horizon line, so you can put that whichever angle your horizon is, and it's say right there, I can let it go, and that will also level the horizon out. Um, there is another way, I'll reset that, is holding down the command key, we'll use that same tool, we'll bring up that level, so you keep holding down the command key, you click on the horizon, drag it across the line, let it all go and there we are that levels the horizon so that fixes any any unlevel horizons very easily in Lightroom okay now the thing I wanted to show you was how to I'll bring that crop tool back up change the aspect ratio to fit say for example if you want to put this photograph on Instagram I would go over here next to that lock tool is a little the word original We'll click on the little drop downs next to it and what you'll see it brings up a whole heap of different sizes now instagram on a mobile phone is a four by five ratio so it's four across the bottom and five up the side so we click on that this is going to trim it down to five by four so it's five across there and four up there but we can just grab the corner drag it down and move it across and all of a sudden bang we're at four by five so if I crop this photo down, I'll find a pleasing sort of uh, composition. So I want to keep those buildings in a little bit more. I press enter. That's that photo. When I export it now, will fit on my. When I put it on Instagram, it will fill the whole photo area on Instagram. There we know it won't be square format, but it will fill your mobile phone. And I'll put a picture up just to show you what it looks like on a phone screen on Instagram. So um, I'll pop that up now. Just have a look. That's the optimum size for Instagram photographs on your mobile phone. Now, I'll just quickly reset that. The other one I wanted to show you was if you wanted to use a particular photo for your Facebook banner across the top. When people look on your Facebook page, we can you, you can Google it and look up the size, but it is 851 by 315. Now, what I've done here is I've gone into custom. When you do that, it brings up and you just type in 851, move over here, uh, 315. Press OK. So this now adds, you can see it there, there's the, there's the size 851 by 315, and it's already cropped it to there. And we can move this composition around. So if I wanted to use this, photograph for my Facebook banner, that's the size I would use. I'd set it to that, 851, 315, move it around for a pleasing, and I'll just put that horizon line, say, roughly at one third, and I'll press enter, there we go. Now, I export that out and import it then into Facebook as my new cover photo, my banner photo, that's what it will look like. Facebook won't crop it anymore because that's the exact size that Facebook uses. So I'll go back in here and I will reset. So that's the crop tool. I hope it uh, helps some of you out using that crop tool. Oh, one other quick guide too was if you wanted to, another quick way to level a horizon by eye, you'll see the tool is the little, um, I don't know, it's like a compass and a right angle ruler. The tool that's inside there, as I slide outside of that box, you'll see it turns into the two little arrows. Now, if I click on that, it brings up the grid, and I can also slide up, slide down to use that to level my horizon. So I'll use the grid there, bang. So same effect. So it does the same thing as using the slide rule there, but if you're already in the crop tool, it's a matter of just bouncing your mouse outside to get to those arrows, click on it, move up and down. And we'll leave it there. Press Enter. Does that. So there we go. There's uh, a little quick walk through the crop tool part of Lightroom. So I hope you enjoyed that. So tune in next week for my next Lightroom tip.
Thank you very much.